Now, before I get started, I want to say this is going to be the first video in a series of videos because there's just an entirely huge amount of information as it pertains to an overall perspective of things. So I'm breaking it down into very small parts so that everybody has a chance to look a lot of this information up on their own so they can fact check me and see that uh, everything that I say uh, is absolutely so. It, it all can be found. Every bit of it can be found and it can all be put into uh, in line with Scripture. So, now I want to point out the single most important part in Scripture, which is John chapter 1, verse 1. It states, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then, uh, two verses down, verse 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made. This points out that God is not just the Bible or Scripture, but every word. Then go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, the deep things of God. Now see, he reveals all things through the Word and his Spirit, the Holy Spirit that's within us. And Scripture allows you to connect with him and the Word, all words, so that he might reveal all to you. If you would be trying to maybe relate it to our current times, you could take a computer. Now, by itself, it's just a standalone processor. Processor, It's very closed off and limited in capabilities. But if you are connected to a modem, and God's modem is the scripture, then your capabilities become almost limitless, depending on the software you have. And this would be your faith, belief, and workings. Or you could maybe even try to use the example of a cell phone. A cell phone within itself has very few abilities unless it connects to a tower. And the scripture is that tower to get into the word. But he's not just the scripture. He's every word. He will reveal all things through his word because he is the word. The word, his word, he has given to me to reveal to you is theta. T-H-E-T-A. A very ancient word used as far back as history records. This was given to me to show the world where he cast down Abaddon and his army of locusts and where they come from when the fifth seal is opened. Because again, I tell you, we are in Revelation just as I pointed out in my first video. <laughs> Now, to understand this better, you need to, to read all of Revelations 9 to understand as much as possible, but you'll also need to go to the original Hebrew Scripture, which would include the Dead Sea Scrolls and Enoch, to have a better understanding of Abaddon 
what kind of angel he was, his description, uh, the war in heaven, why he was one of the angels that was cast down to earth, out of heaven, because he revolted against God like Satan did. He was one of the ones that Satan convinced and one of the fallen angels that was cast out of heaven. And he's described as having six wings. He was one of the angels that was mighty, like, like Gabriel and, and Michael, like, like the archangels. And two of the wings, of course, of these angels cover their feet. But again, I, I need y'all to go look this stuff up yourselves. Uh, trying to go into all this detail, it, it would take forever. I need y'all to digest very important aspects so you can see things a little better. So, in this, I will show you that God is the Word and His on, omnipotence, that He can take a simple five-letter word like theta and span it across all time and languages, including math, which is known as the universal language, so that he reveals his glory and gives reverence to the word. So, in looking at the symbol theta from a mathematical perspective, and again, everybody can look every bit of this up, that is your symbol theta. It is known to have a negative value of 9. It represents the number 9. Well, what chapter is almost entirely designated to Abaddon. It's Revelation chapter 9. In mathematical terms also, geometrically, and it's in trigonometry, it's in, in geometry, it's in all math that spans back as far as history records. It's known as the angle of descent. Note, the angle of descent and number 9. Unlucky number. So that's, that's, in this, I'm just giving you small fractions of the information, just enough to get you to see and look some of this up yourself. So again, that's some, just a little bit of its mathematical uh, representation. So we go to further back in history. Theta, to the Phoenicians, this was their symbol of Theta. It was the serpent or dragon and circled around the fiery circle. Now this is ancient Phoenicians. This was their symbol of Theta. The serpent and the fiery circle. The Egyptians, ancient Egyptians, used it to represent, this was their symbol of theta. It was the circle which represented the earth and the serpent in the fiery circle, which was similar to the Phoenicians, uh, just a slight variation. So that was your ancient Egyptian symbol for theta. Now, this is what the Greeks used the theta symbol as. This was their symbol of theta. And the judges, the Greek judges, would put this on their ballots, this symbol also on their ballots when they were handing out the death sentence. This was also... Uh, uh, the design, the rings within rings, how Atlantis, 
was described by Plato, which I'll get this. This will come in another video. Again, it's a lot of information uh, that has to be broken down. But this also was used as the Greeks. The circle inside the circle represented the soul inside of the circle. Now, we use it today. It represents today in our time as a symbol for the bullseye on a target. And you look at even the symbol of the target stores. Represents the bullseye. The target, the, the location. Hit the center of the target. And also, going back to the mathematical format symbol of it uh, in economic terms it represents decline and decay again angle of descent but economically it means decline and decay but probably the more important is angle of descent in the geometric sense in the Cyrillic language this was their symbol of theta. And see, it's been used in every single language all throughout time in history. So in the Cyrillic language, it was the circle with the X inside of it. And we use this and it's all it's been on been used for hundreds, if not thousands of years on maps to represent X marks the spot. This was the Cyrillic symbol for theta. So now, I've just given you a few, just a few examples of theta and its meaning throughout history, the span of time in all languages. And I'll show you its importance. Now, while everybody is focused on this coronavirus plague that I said was a plague mentioned in Revelations 18, you can't take your sight off of the other plagues that Revelation mentions. So now, I give to you Theta Island. You can punch it in. Go to your Google Maps and punch in Theta Island. It's going to be located up here in the Bermuda I Islands. That's also in one of the angles, remember angle of descent, of the Bermuda Devil's Triangle. And this is where, this is how, and you can look this up, look up Bermuda, uh, Bermuda Triangle or Devil's Triangle. This is how it's positioned. And again, he's shown all throughout time, anybody could have seen this. It could have been revealed to anybody at any time, all throughout history. But it's only revealed now. No one has ever been able to reveal this until now. So, and, and this is Africa. Africa's over here. This is in the Atlantic Ocean. And the African locust plague is just to the right. Just to, at, at the opposing side of that same ocean. And if you go, punch it in, in your Google Maps, Theta Island in the Devil's Triangle, in the, the specific angle, angle of descent, zoom out to your 20 mile point from your Google Maps. 
you're going to have a volcano, an ancient volcano. You're going to have an impression. Wouldn't you think if a, a mighty angel would be cast out of heaven to earth, it would leave an impression. And again, he comes out of the pit, the abyss, the, the great furnace, and his plague of locusts. And, and again, I'm not an artist, but this is a representation of what you'll kind of see. And... Theta Island is located right about here. And again, you go back to that symbol. The circle within the circle. And you get Theta Island. The circle within the circle. So, zoom out to the 20 mile point and this is what you'll see. You'll see the impression of a great angel that impacted the earth. Which was a a baton, just as Revelation talks about. Now there's, again, there's a lot more information that you'll find. Uh, the Christian Bible, it just briefly, very briefly mentions, talks about this angel. Uh, you can go to... The scriptures that used to be in our Bible before they were removed by the Roman Catholic Church in the 14th and 15th century, we had a lot of these scriptures that the church removed, uh, like the Book of Enoch and some of the other Hebrew scriptures uh, that you can't find in there now. So go to the Hebrew scriptures, Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, and you'll find more information about this. It's much more detailed. It'll give you a better understanding. Now, just as I pointed out in my first video about the coronavirus, I explained how God sends warnings, and it states in the scriptures that... uh to look for the signs. Now, he sent Ebola just months before that wiped out their pigs just before the celebration of the their year of the pig. This is their year of the pig. And this is what their Lunar New Year celebration was supposed to be about. So he sent these signs and they didn't heed the warnings. So then they got the plague. They got the coronavirus themselves. Now, this is one of the other things that occur in Revelations. And he has sent the signs. But I think too many people, just like China was blinded, people weren't paying attention. It states in Revelation 9 that a star falls from heaven and has the key to open the pit, the pit that releases a baton. January 19th of this year, a meteor, a star fell from heaven in the opposing angle right above Puerto Rico. You can look it up. This happened the exact same time all the earthquakes were occurring in Puerto Rico. While at the same time, the African, Africa locust was appearing and taking off. All gives reverence to the word. It's all associated and a sign. He does give warnings. Now, something to take notice about this plague, this plague of locusts. This plague is bigger than any other ever recorded. And it's different. It's different in the sense, before the previous plagues, they could actually catch and save the locusts and eat those. 
if it wiped out their crops. But they can't do that to, with these because these locusts are poisonous. They're toxic. So it's wiping out their crops and they can't even eat them. And again, this is a sign. I'm not telling you this is the pit opened. And it talks about in Revelations 9 that the power, if you go to, I think it's verse 19, that the power comes from the mouth. These things... Uh, locusts and such power comes from the mouth is where their power is located and if you look it talks about the brimstone sulfur the great furnace and that it comes out of the earth well if you go you look again Theta Island, zoom out. This is an old volcano. Fire brimstone coming out of the earth. Lake of fire. Fiery abyss. Now again, there's a lot of information. You have to look a lot of this stuff up. You got to go to the scripture. Read Revelations 9 thoroughly. But also go to the old to the original Hebrew scriptures and Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, one one site would, that would probably give you the most information about the symbol of Theta and and all of its meanings throughout history and languages would probably be www dot uh, mythologian.net I believe is the website but you're going to have to search it out through you know look up the, the mathematical meanings of theta so you can see what he can do with one single five letter word because he is the word he took that one simple Word and made it mean all these things to reveal his works and his glory and to reveal what he did and prove it was done in scripture that he cast these angels out of heaven. So this gives reverence to the word because he is the word. And proves he is the word. If he can do that with one simple five letter word. Imagine what he could do with a sentence or anything. He spans throughout all time. All languages including math. So I'll get more in depth. And, and each of these videos will go more in depth. But look up all of this. It's all there. It could have been revealed at any time all throughout history. It was in front of everybody's eyes for them to see. But only now this is revealed. I'm going to close this video. Uh, look it up, people. Get in the Word. See the signs. So, I want to say God bless everybody. And uh, make sure you look this up and stay in the Word, people. Be aware. Open your eyes.